Alright, so this is going to be a Dragon Mirror match. Bill Jr. versus Phoenix Fox. And it looks like... So it looks like Phoenix Fox is on Unicorn Splash which is interesting. I haven't seen that in Dragon. Um, Bill Jr. on the usual Crab Splash, although he is running a Mountain Does Not Fall in place of the usual uh, Skirmishers. And an in Indomitable Will as well, so pretty decent amount of Unbow there. Or in this case, not bow. Um, one causeway in both decks. Yeah, so the unicorn splash that Phoenix Fox is running is three spyglass, two wayfinder, two gaijin customs. And then he has indomitable will as well, so he has even more unbow in his deck. Um, it looks like Phoenix Fox is running Policy Debate as his restricted list card. Um, since he's not on the Crab Splash, he gets to... He doesn't have that spot taken by Pathfinder's Blade, so he can run Policy Debate. Um, Bill Jr., of course, on the Pathfinder's Blade. We see a Raitsugu with four fate from Phoenix Fox, so... Yeah, and then Investigator with 3 Fate. So this is kind of where the meta is right now, just with Dragon playing one char one big character with a lot of Fate on it. And they're both going to bid 5. So if these two characters end up in the same conflict, the right Sugu should be able to duel this investigator pretty easily. Um, but Bill Jr. does have two favorable grounds here. Ooh, we see a Wayfinder. And that's going to find Shameful Display, so Wayfinder pretty good in this matchup um, to find where some of those big provinces are. He still has to be careful about Restoration of Balance with 8 cards in his hand. So I'm not sure if we'll see him attack here. Uh, he is going to attack with the Wayfinder. So maybe, yeah, he's going into Shameful with the Wayfinder. Um, not sure I like this because now, so, so if Bill uses Shameful here, which he does, um, that means that Raisugu is going to be able to attack it for free on the second attack, although that will have to be political. Um, Bill Jr. is going to play Indomitable Will, so the investigator will not bow. I was thinking he was just going to favorable ground out, but that works also. So I think he passes his first attack here. Ooh, we see a Pathfinder's Blade, though. So he might go for a political attack. Ah, uh, but there is a let go. There's a fine katana. So I think as Phoenix Fox, I would have wanted to actually save the let go. Um, although the favorable grounds makes that a little bit tricky. Because if he finds Shameful, then you just let go, and then he favorable grounds home. Uh, we see two fine katanas on both of these characters. And since the investigator is honored, that means they are currently tied at seven military skill each. Ooh, he does attack, and he finds Restoration with five cards in hand, so he's only going to have to discard one card, which is an Assassinate. Is that a one-times Assassinate? Yes, it is. 
Uh, so the good thing for Phoenix Fox is that now he doesn't have to worry about assassinate at all. If he finds a swordsmith, he can just load it up with fate. We do see a defense. And there's the Mountain's Anvil Castle. On both characters. Um, and he's going to initiate a duel. Bill Jr. reveals five, so he's going to give up three honor, but he will take a fate off of Raitsugu there. Uh, Investigator is now going to use his ability, and we see in his hand Assassinate, Cloud the Mind, Indomitable Will, Policy Debate, Tattooed Wonder, Tattooed Wonder. And he chooses Policy Debate. Um, that does mean that Indomitable Will is still turned on, but he chooses not to play it. Guess he doesn't really want to do the political conflict that badly since he wouldn't break. Um, He could have potentially played the Cloud the Mind on the Investigator before the ability was able to go off, but chose not to do that. Ooh, we see Sumiko with favor from Bill. That's pretty big. And on the other side, there's a Yokuni. Bill passes. So, yeah, as first player as well, this is going to be... A pretty big Sumiko turn. Um, although we do know that there's the Cloud the Mind. And Phoenix Fox saved one fate, so he can cloud her. Um, I think there's a decent chance we see that, and then potentially a let go. There's a Pathfinder's Blade. Phoenix Fox found the palace, though. So hopefully for him, that palace is on, like, shameful display. Ooh, Tattooed Wonder as well. This Sumiko is getting scary. Finds Feast or Famine, okay. So, he might regret discarding that Assassinate. Um, although we're seeing Yokuni defend, it looks like. We know that he has two tattooed wanderers. Uh, Yokuni could favorable ground out. We see, okay, we see a policy debate. Um, and that's going to reveal Phoenix Fox bids five, giving up some honor. We see two clouds, Find Katana, Finger of Jade, Ornate Fans, Reprieve, and Tattooed Wander. So he has ways to save this Sumiko. And, oh, Bill actually has a favorable ground as well, I just remembered, so... He doesn't necessarily have to break this if he doesn't want to. Hmm. I think you take the reprieve or the finger. Uh, yeah, he does take the reprieve. Oh wait, she has a Pathfinder's Blade. Doesn't even matter. Uh, we see a Bonsai on Yokuni. Defender is now winning. And we see the Favorable Ground home. I think I might have waited on the Favorable Ground there. Um, just to see what he would do. 
Oh, thanks. Thanks, Luke, for the bits. <laughs> Back in first place now. Um, and... Oh, never mind. Is Box the Fox Phoenix Fox? I feel like he might be. If he is, then he can't take first place back, at least while he's in this game. Yeah, he is. Okay. Um, <laughs> we see an indomitable will to prevent Yokuni from bowing. He still has one fate left, so... Ooh, there's a Tattooed Wanderer of his own. <laughs> wow. Tattooed Wanderer is for everyone here. Everyone except Raitsugu. So, okay, there's a fan. Yeah, it's looking like he's going to do a political conflict. He might have to just go air for the fate. Um, I think what he's probably trying to do is trying to get Bill to play a let go if he has it, so then he can play the Cloud of the Mind for free. But I'm not even sure if Bill has a let go here. Uh, ooh. Finds Feast or Famine with Raitsugu. So, and we've seen the Assassinate get discarded from Phoenix Fox as well. So if Bill has a conflict character here, he can just not defend and force him to favorable ground out. Um, that's probably fine. You got the fate from the airing, so you probably don't care too much. Bill's gonna defend with investigator and pass. So I think what he's probably gonna do here is go for a water ring next and then unbow the investigator. So it can then defend. Although if Yokuni defends, we see the favorable ground out from Reitsugu. Um, no military conflicts left. Why did Bill favorable ground Miko? She wasn't going to bow. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. That's what I was saying, was like, you should just wait to see what he's going to do. Um, because, like he's, yeah, like Mind's Desire said, Sumiko wasn't going to bow from that conflict, so there was no reason to immediately favorable ground home. Uh, we see, wow, a lot of attachments going on to this Sumiko here. Two fans and a figure of Jade. And going to look for... Um, Shameful display, I guess, and then finger of jade the effect. Yep. We see the double defense. She's only at, Sumiko's only at five military skill, yeah, so we're going to see an immediate duel here. But the finger of jade cancels it. Uh, so he still has the Pathfinder's Blade to cancel Shameful. Wow. <laughs> so literally everyone has a Tattooed Wanderer right now. Um, yeah, Pathfinder's Blade is going to cancel Shameful. Uh, I believe we have not seen... Yokuni's ability get used, so yeah, he is going to copy the duel there. Um, do doesn't have any fate for Investigator, so that's the only ability he can really copy. And then he's going to Stronghold, so they are actually at equal skill now. Ooh, never mind. There's a Katana. 
although that is going to mean one of those fans has to be discarded. So Bill probably not going to win this conflict, which means, yeah, yeah, so there's just a pass. And since Bill has, or since Phoenix Fox has that Imperial Palace and one more rings, um, he's going to get that favor even though Sumiko doesn't bow. So it turns out he didn't even have to cloud her which is pretty good and everyone down to one fate now so the Sumiko didn't actually end up doing a whole lot there uh, we see Amiya Mystic, Doom Chugenja Doom Chugenja Bill misplayed this turn yeah yeah I think he did unfortunately um, Hand size is down to 3 and 2 as well. Does he play Yokuni here? Yes, he does with 2 fate. That means Phoenix Fox will get the passing fate. So... I think technically Bill still has the bigger board here by a little bit. Um, we see a cloud on Yokuni. The nice thing about or the nice thing for Bill here is that since Phoenix Fox is not splashing crab, he doesn't have any reprieves. So if he can get these fade off these characters, they're just gonna die. So no cloud for Phoenix Fox's Yokuni, it looks like, and he's going to copy the Investigator's ability. Uh, the Mia Mystic gets used immediately, sac or, uh, discarding the Tattooed Wanderer on the Investigator. There's a Finger of Jade on Raitsugu. So that might mean he's just going to attack Shameful Display. Looks like he's attacking with Yokuni though, going into a face down province. So this is either Restoration, which does nothing, and it is Restoration. Well, I mean, it doesn't do nothing. Bill gains a fate, but he's at four cards, so it's not going to discard anything. Um, which I guess is why he played that Finger of Jade there. This is a political conflict. Hmm. Oh, and it's the Voidering, too. That's unfortunate. So yeah, taking the Voidering off the table here is definitely the right play, I think. Um, we see a Reprieve on the Kitsuki Investigator, and 
Phoenix Fox is going to investigate. Let's see what is left here. Censure, that's unfortunate. Uh, two Clouds, Court Games, Jade Masterpiece, Fan, Pathfinder's Blade, Discards Pathfinder's Blade. We have a Court Games to Dishonor the Yokuni. And then he's just going to let this break, it looks like. Counter Court Games. That's fine. Yep, so that's going to break. Unfortunately, it looks like Phoenix Fox hasn't seen a lot of his unicorn cards here. No spyglasses in the first half of his deck. That's a little bit unfortunate. So the last face down province is manicured. He's going to go there with the earth ring. So earth ring is pretty good here. Um, if he chooses to investigate, that's going to discard two cards and leave Phoenix Fox with only one card left. while Bill, meanwhile, will have six, so pretty sizable hand advantage. Um, we see a defense, Manicured Garden gets used. Bill passes, so it looks like he's not going to spend the fate to investigate here. Sandy Bell says, I think Bill has this game in the bag. Yeah, we'll see. Um, next turn, the Yokuni and the Raitsugu on Phoenix Fox's side are definitely going to die, so that's pretty big. Uh, we see the Earth Ring hit an Ancestral Die Show, that's pretty good. Although it doesn't really do anything this turn since Raitsugu already has two katanas. Um, he is going to break manicured, so that's two breaks. And now one military conflict left for both players. Bill still has two characters standing, so if the Raitsugu goes on an attack here then Phoenix Fox is probably going to lose another break. Um, it looks like he is going to attack, though. Could go water. Yeah, he's going water. At Shameful. He does have the Finger of Jade. So yeah, I think this is the correct play here. Then you unbow Yokuni to defend. Uh, he's switching provinces, goes to Manicured Garden. So he's only up two skill over the Sumiko if we see a defense here. Which it looks like we do. Um, that does potentially mean he can duel though. Oh wait, he's only up one skill. I, I think I miscounted. Seven to six, right. 
Yeah, so he's up one. Yeah, so we see a defense. He uses manicure. Ooh. So I think he just. Did he already duel this turn? Wondering why he didn't duel Sumiko there and just bid five. Am I missing something? Maybe he doesn't want to give up the honor? So if he kills Sumiko, he breaks this, but that's all he really gets. So yeah, it looks like he just didn't want to lose any honor. Um, uh, Bill's going to pass his conflict opportunity. Yeah, I guess he just doesn't want to attack either of these provinces. Um... So unfortunately Sumiko dies. Looks like he didn't have another reprieve. Actually, I think we knew that because we saw his hand earlier. Uh, he did draw a card off the Earth Ring, so he has one unknown card. We see Mystics on both sides, a Niten Master for Bill. And these two storehouses are going to help equalize this hand size here. Um, although not seeing any real characters is kind of unfortunate, yeah. Unlucky. So yeah, I think Bill is in a pretty strong position at this point. All he really has to do is make it through this turn, which should be pretty simple. Ooh, we see the Jade Masterpiece. Um, Mystic was a good find with the Reprieve on the board, that's true. There is a Reprieve over here on the investigator so this masterpiece means he can he can take a three fate airing or a two fate firing um, we see Yokuni copy the investigator he is going to move the fate to the airing So the only problem for Bill is that there are two provinces here that you really don't want to attack. Um, it looks like he's going to poke at Feast or Famine with this Mia Mystic. Since the palace is on it, it's unlikely that this breaks here. Phoenix Fox would need to have two katanas, and even if he did, Bill could just sacrifice the Mystic after the second one comes down. So it wouldn't even be worth it. So yeah, he's just going to not defend and pass. Bill gets the airing, steals one honor. So... A 
lot of these rings look pretty good here. Um, voiding Yokuni would be good, but you don't need to do that immediately since Bill has no incentive to go void. Um, you could go water potentially and covert the investigator. Looks like he is choosing Void, though. I'm not sure if I like going Void immediately here, since none of his characters have Fade on them. Okay, it looks like he's going to do Political, Covert the Investigator, and try to break this feast or famine. This is definitely the time to break feast or famine. Um, we see a defense with Yokuni and the master. Defense with skill 9, plays court games to honor going to honor the Niten Master, actually, since he'll be staying around longer. Um, we can see this, we could see this Mia Mystic here get used to discard one of the fans. Yokuni uses the Investigator's ability. Let's see what we have here. Two let goes and a fan, those are pretty big. Mountain does not fall is kind of big as well. Ancestral Dice Show represents a stand for the Niten Master. Discards Mountain does not fall. Hmm. Ooh, we see Cloud the Mind on Mia Mystic. That's pretty good. There's a let go to discard it. The other Cloud the Mind gets played. And there's a court games to honor Yokuni. Uh, Mia Mystic discards Cloud the Mind. Interesting. So he's going to copy an ability here, it looks like. Uh, we see a let go to discard a reprieve. So I guess he's, hmm, what ability is he going to copy here? Investigator? I guess he could copy right to go and kill the mystic. Uh, did he already copy? Did I miss it? Let go. Where is the let go on Cloud the Mind? Or the Mia Mystic, there it was. Sacrificing to discard Cloud the Mind. Yeah, no, he didn't. Okay, he just used it. Um to copy 
yeah, so he did copy Investigator. Um, so we're going to see what's in Phoenix Fox's hand. We have a Dice Show, a Katana, Gaijin Customs, Wayfinder, Spyglass, and Causeway. Hmm. I think you have to take the Causeway. That's a that's a tough hand. Discards the Wayfinder. I mean, I guess he. Oh, actually, no. We know he has two let goes, so yeah, he doesn't need to take the Causeway. If he didn't have any let goes, then that would be. So discarding the Wayfinder here means that if if he wants if Phoenix Fox wants to use that Gaijin Customs, he'll have to play Spyglass, which means not only is he only getting one Spyglass trigger off of it, he's also playing on a playing it on a character who's going to die this turn. Uh, we see a let go on one of the fans, so Defender is now winning. And we actually, since we know Phoenix Fox's hand here, and he discarded the Wayfinder, if he wants to win this conflict, he has to play either the Spyglass or play Kazue as a character here. We'll see how badly he wants to win. Let me see what's in Bill's hand. He hasn't played that. Oh no, he did play the fan. So yeah, I think Phoenix Fox just wins. Yeah, he plays the Spyglass. So now he just wins the conflict. Um, don't think there's anything left Bill Jr. can do. Yep, we see a pass. The Void Ring removes a fate from Yokuni, so... Yeah, and there's the Gaijin Customs. So potentially, um... Yeah, I mean, the whole board is going to die here except for this Neaton Master, which is pretty good for Bill. Um, I think, yeah, you have to attack this firing here. Goes at Shameful. So now Raitsugu defends, and he's just going to... Well, actually, what's his skill? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They have the same skill. So he can't just immediately duel him. Um, he could shameful display and then duel, but that would allow Investigator to use his ability. He is going to defend with Raitsugu. And yeah, I think we have to see the shameful first action.
we see Causeway played at home, actually. So he didn't want that to get discarded from the investigator's ability, so he's just going to play her. Uh, we see the ability get used, discarding that dice show. So all that's left is a fine katana. Shameful display gets used. And now Bill's probably just done here. Can't really win the conflict, so... Yep, they're just going to pass. So, if he wants to, he can play the dice show to ready Nita and Master. Um, Phoenix Fox is going to keep the favor. This Imperial Palace doing a lot of work this game. Uh, looks like he's not going to ready the Ten Master, so that means a free break on this shameful display. And the Earth Ring is going to discard a let go. Ooh, and we see Cloud the Mind on Niten Master as well. Playing it while he still has the Shugenja around. So yeah, he actually drew that Cloud the Mind off the Earth Ring. That was pretty good. So, I mean, Bill still has the larger character here. See, ooh, there's Sumiko from Phoenix Fox, finally. And a couple of Raitsugus and a Niten Adept. Yeah, so we see the Sumiko get bought here. And we're going to see a Raitsugu with the Four fade after the dupe there. Um, probably doesn't play the adept if I had to guess. Should have used mystic. Uh, the mystic was clouded there, so he couldn't use it. Yeah, he could have fired mystic before that conflict happened. Um, Although, trading a Mystic for a Cloud is probably fine. He actually got two Clouds off of that because he let go of the first one. So that means, um, unless, unless Bill draws another Cloud here, there will be no Cloud left for the Sumiko. He has three, right? Yeah, they both have three Clouds. Uh, Daisho, Katana, oh he doesn't have a Shugenja though so he couldn't play Cloud anyway, never mind. Looks like we're seeing Sumiko attack Manicured Garden. So this is potentially a scary situation for Bill here. Um, a little bit interesting that he chose to let go the Jade Masterpiece. He could have let go the Cloud the Mind on the Niten Master and then saved that Daisho to stand him. Uh, we see Reitsugu defending. Manicured Garden gets used. Ooh, there's a policy debate. And I have to assume he's going to bid to win here. Uh, interesting. Bill Jr. bids five. So he's actually going to give up one honor and then still lose. Ooh, and he has 
both centuries in his hand. That's really unfortunate. I like how G. Goku tells us now that they have chosen to not lose an honor for no effect. It's very helpful. Um, what did he discard? I missed it. Discards Kazue. Yeah, so Kami Unleashed, he actually has enough fate to play it. Well, I mean, I guess he could go watering and get three fate, but... Yeah, we see the Kami come down. So he could... He could go water, and then... No, he's going void, okay. So, yeah, we see the double defense. Um, but, mm, maybe not. So... Should have killed Kami, yeah, I think Kami was the correct discard. Um, Bill can potentially now get a double void on Sumiko if this goes well. However, there is still the political attack, so Phoenix Fox should be able to get the third break this turn. Unless he defends. So Bill's hand right now is Bonsai, Century, Century, He only has four cards, wait. Did he play the Bonsai? Oh yeah, he played the Bonsai. So Century, Century, Finger of Jade, Reprieve. And there's a Court Games to Dishonor any 10 Master. So yeah, Bill's not going to win this conflict. Um... Yeah, has to defend, probably. So yeah, defending means that Sumiko is not going to die, which is pretty big. Um, he just voids that causeway there. And then Phoenix Fox keeps Imperial Favor. Hmm. Doom Shugenja. A lot of small characters here. Yeah, we see a Togashi Initiate. Um, you might just have to play the Adept. Yeah, he does play Adept with two fate. There's the Mia Mystic. Bill will pass. They're going to drop their bids to. Three, that's interesting. Oh, it's because the conflict decks are running out. That makes sense. I 
and it looks like Bill is going to be able to take a three fate water ring here. Which will probably force this. Well, it'll force someone to defend. Or just bow the Togashi initiate, I guess. Uh, does Phoenix have any more let goes? I was confused for a second because he said Phoenix, um, who is playing Dragon, but no, I don't believe he does. Yeah, all three let goes used. All three from Bill as well, so no more let goes. There's a Cloud the Mind. Um, it got discarded. He discarded it with the... I think it was a policy debate. Shameful display with Doom Chugenja. Hello. So it looks like he's going to defend with the Togashi Initiate. So if he doesn't... Oh wait, he has Imperial Favor. So yeah, he can just win this on defense. Gotta hold the Mystic for the Reprieve. Yeah, we do know that Bill has a Reprieve in hand. Um, but he might not play it this turn. We see Kitsuki's Method. So you could use the Mystic on that, and he does... Yeah, I don't think we're going to see the Reprieve this turn, or at least it wouldn't actually get used this turn if he did play it, so using the Mystic on the Kitsuki's method seems good. Uh, we see a Court Games to Dishonor the Initiate. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that court games because the ring effect is not going to do anything now. I think once you got the mystic, you should just stop. Yeah, the ring does nothing. So yeah, I think that was a mistake to court games. Um, we see a tattooed wanderer on Sumiko. Man, all the tattooed wanderers this game... I think that is... is that the last one? No? One more? Yeah, it looks like Bill still has one more in his deck. Yeah, you're not going to win favor, favor versus uh, Sumiko and Palace, that's true. We see the dice show on Raitsugu, and there's a bonsai on Sumiko. Ooh, and there's the last cloud the mind. So it looks like maybe he should have saved the mystic. Uh, manicured gardens used. So Sumiko bowing here is going to be pretty big. Um, one thing I just realized is 
I think there are two spyglasses in the last three cards here. Plays a Kami Unleashed, so yeah, at least one spyglass in the last three cards. Think he breaks Palace here? Yeah, he cannot break Palace because it's on Feast or Famine. That would mean losing this Raitsugu. Um, well, the Raitsugu has a Finger of Jade, so it would mean... Uh, ooh, so Kami Unleashed is going to Void Ring this Niten Master. Yeah, it's Shameful Display has been used, so he's going to go and break Shameful. Um, not... I, I feel like I'm not a huge fan of the Kami Unleashed there, since you were going to win the Void Ring anyway. Not really sure why he played it. Because moving the fate or removing a fate from Raitsugu doesn't really do much. Yeah, I think the Mystic was a weird play there. Um, maybe he just figures he's gonna lose at this point. Thought he played it to break. Yeah, he would have gotten a break if he didn't sacrifice it. Um, Bill has Reprieve, yeah, I believe he does have a Reprieve in his hand. Yeah, from earlier, we saw it. Yeah, so yeah, I think this game is just done. Um, yep, there it is. So yeah, we're going into next turn with a Clouded Sumiko for Phoenix Fox. And all three of these characters for Bill with three breaks. Ooh, and two Doom Shugenjas. Unfortunately, you cannot play both of them. That Court Games by Bill yeah, I definitely did not like the court games, um, but yeah, the mystic usage as well turned out to not be ideal. Uh, we see Yuruma and Swordsmith. Yeah, so for a political body, that's always nice. Uh, Swordsmith, I guess, finds... Yeah, he uses it to find a Finger of Jade. So Bill doesn't even really have to worry about running out of conflict cards here, since he has nine honor. Um... He'd still probably be in a fine position. Uh, we see a... Ooh. <laughs> yeah, so finally finds his spyglasses a little bit too late. Mind's Desire says, if only this Yuruma was Kudaka, yeah. Kudaka is a really good character. I feel like we're going to be seeing a lot of her. Um, ooh, he used the Spyglasses. So 
So down to one honor for Phoenix Fox. <laughs> yeah, the reshuffle there. So he could potentially have... Um, did he reshuffle and then draw one? Uh, we see a break on Manicured Gardens, no defense. Gaijin Customs to Ready Raitsugu. So the Stronghold is uh, Rally, right? Yeah, it's, both of them are on Rally. So. Hmm. Might actually be a good idea to count here. It's kind of tough to count. Uh, so if it were military, Bill would have... <laughs> yeah, math. 3, 4, 5, 10, 12, 14, 15, 17. Um, he's going to covert... Right, Sugu. So it'd be 17 to 7, winning by 10. Oh, 8, winning by. Wait, I missed the katana. 17 to 11, so he'd be winning by 6, which is just enough to break. And then he could also bow Doom Shugenja with the Niten Adept. Um, covert, covert Right, Sugu, bow Doomed, yeah. And then political, I think he has even more political skill. And Bill has less. So yeah, I think he wins. Either way. I think it might have been better to save a spyglass to put on Doomed Shugenja so she doesn't get bowed. Yeah, so alright, Sugu gets coverted. Yeah, this I think this should be the game here. Takes one fate from the water ring. So we're waiting for Phoenix Fox to decide if he wants to switch to political. Um, yeah, good luck at your tournament. So, Phoenix Fox has no fate, he has two cards. I mean, I think if you switch it to political, you just have no chance. Because it's four to a lot. Bill's hand is two century, that's true. Yeah, I think you have to keep it military. Not all, not all in, then you're... Yeah, so if, if this conflict potentially fails, that could be pretty bad. Um, again, I think you have to keep it on military here. I think there's less, yeah, keeps it on military. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, actually, let's see, those would cancel out. This is two less, 
military, this one is three less, so that's five. Five. So it's actually even. I think both skills are actually the same on Bill's side. So yeah, since Phoenix Fox has more military skill. Yep, there's the GG. Defends with skill 10. Yeah, so he needed like exactly a katana to put on the Doom Shugenja or something. But yeah, that's going to be the game. So Bill Jr. wins. He will go on to play against Mind's Desire in another Dragon Mirror. And then the winner of that will go to the finals. Down on the other side of the bracket we have Handsome Dan and Nyx. And then Micah and QQ, so a lot more variety down there. Um, hopefully we don't get a Dragon Mirror in finals, but could happen. It's QQ on Dishonor Phoenix. Let me see what his deck is. You're playing... <laughs> you and Bill are playing the same decks. Did he just copy your deck? Yep, that's the same deck. <laughs> Different name though. Yeah, I can see how much you like Ryoma. Um, good thing, good thing Kudaka is coming, right? I'm pretty excited for Kudaka. I think she's going to be good in the crab deck. What I'm really excited for, though, is the Earth pack. Got to get the Kuni Yori and Spread the Darkness. Those cards are both pretty good. Alright, well, that's it for this game, so I'm going to head out. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, Alchemist, got to see about that card. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, see you next time.